Well, I, you know, I got to be honest. One, one of the things that won me to the to to the right was, you know, having been around constantly. How can we get fifty one percent and get even with those we hate? I mean, that's the underlying theme constantly, and you're living in it. And when somebody comes to you and says, "I love what you are," what do you mean you love what I am? I'm a, you know, I'm a gay black female or whatever. You're a white Christian, you know what? No, no, you don't understand. I love what you are. I love your talent. I love your work ethic. I love the way, I love your sense of humor, you know. And you and I want a lot of the same things. We both want the poor to have food to eat. We both want them to have jobs. We both want, um, you know, we both want uh, people of various lifestyles to be able to choose how to live their lives, not have somebody control them. Here's the difference. Here's the difference. You want it so much, and so do I. But you want it so much that you're willing to use government to force it to happen. And I believe that if the moment we use government to force it to happen, we take away the right of people to choose to make it happen. And if they can't choose to make it happen, they can't become good people. If I take a higher percentage of your wealth and give it to other people for my political gain, you can only become embittered by it. You can't become better by it. Okay? But I want you to know, I understand why you want to do that, because I want them to get the money and get the food and be unleashed and have the opportunities in good schools as much as you do. Why can't we be bonding with them that way instead of shouting at them? I don't know, but I, I, uh, I want to point something out that's, that's going on in the chat right now. Um, RIP Mr. Keating uh, says that, Sorry, they'll just move on the attack. Uh, move on the next attack on our side. They just roll differently than we do. The left will just quickly thank you for your compliment, then knife you in the next moment. Um, I I don't think that this is the case, and I think it's provable that this is not necessarily always the case, because we've seen a lot of leftists turn into conservatives. It's not you. You very very rarely see the reverse of that. There's a reason for that, I think. I think it's because, uh, as as we've been talking about, the left demonizes conservatives for ridiculous reasons, and what's worse is that we give them good boogeymen to uh, point at. So if they actually got a halfway decent example of a conservative they might have a, a, a real change of mind. And, you know, let's talk about Andrew Breitbart. He was a leftist. He changed his, uh, his tune pretty rapidly and, and did more for the conservative movement, arguably, than, you know, anyone that I can think of uh, in the past 10 years. Um, and think, think about what he did behind the scenes. Think of the people that he talked to and he influenced. We've, you know, there are a bunch of leftists that he's talked with that, have a much better viewpoint on conservatives for meeting him. You know, he's not he was he was out there and he was a likable nice guy. That's something completely different from what you get with a Mark Levin or from a Rush Limbaugh. When you see Rush, when you see Mark Levin, they're always screaming and shouting and yelling and, you know, generally being negative and calling people idiots and schmucks and whatever. Andrew Breitbart was good at making people like him and getting his point across. And that's something that we don't do enough of on, on the right. It's, it's shocking that we haven't taken his example uh, anywhere near to the degree that we should. I, one of the things, too, that we need to keep in mind is that the leftists that we talk to are not the target if we're having conversations in that vein, it's the people watching who are seeing a leftist and a conservative sitting side by side and seeing that the conservative is not breathing fire nor dripping fangs with blood. Uh, and, and that's an important part. When you have these bubble shows from the left or for the from the you know where the left is broadcasting their sort of thing and you have a lot of people in the middle like say Ellen or The View or whatever, you have a lot of people in the middle who are watching that sort of thing. Seeing a conservative that's different from the way that those people portray their conservatives 
is huge. And those people are the audience for make nice measures, not the leftists themselves. Those guys, with few exceptions, are not going to be converted. But the people in the middle that are the witnesses, those are the guys that are going to experience some cognitive dissonance, I think. 